Welcome to the VRF Wizard. We're going to go over how to calculate COP and KW per ton for a chiller or a central plant. So basically the COP is the refrigeration capacity output over the electrical power input. So how much power do we have to input in order to produce a ton of cooling, our output. So the COP is BTUs per hour, tons, over the power, which is the KW, kilowatts of input power. So the first thing we got to do is we got to know the conversions. We got to convert our kilowatts into BTUs per hour and our ton of refrigeration into BTUs per hour. We got to have the same units on the top and on the bottom to do our calculation. So let's take an example here of a 240 ton chiller with an input power of 120 kW, kilowatts. So to calculate the tons of your chiller, see our video calculating BTUs per hour of water, water cooled chillers and coils if you want to know how to get the tons of chilled water. So Step one is to convert the tons to BTUs per hour. So we have a 240 ton chiller. We know there are 12,000 BTUs for every ton. So it's a simple calculation, 240 times the 12,000. We have 2,880,000 BTUs per hour of output. Now we gotta convert the input the power, the electrical power that we're using to get that output. So we're using 120 kilowatts to produce that 2,880,000 BTUs of output. So we take our kilowatts times the conversion factor, which is 3,410 BTUs per kilowatt, which gives us 409,200 BTUs. So our calculation is simple at this point. We just take the two numbers, the output on top, the 2,880,000 BTUs per hour, divided by the 409,200 BTUs per hour, and it gives us a COP of 7. Now we'll explain what this number 7 means, whether that's good or bad, in the next few slides here. So Let's get our KW per ton first. So a KW per ton is the amount of electrical input in kilowatts required to produce one ton of cooling. So the less power we put in to produce that tonnage of cooling, the more efficient the equipment is. So to calculate our KW per ton, we just put the KW on top and the tons on bottom. 120 KW divided by the 240 tons gives us 0.5 kW per ton. So our answers are, our COP was 7, our kW per ton was 0.5. So those two are going to match up. On the bottom of this chart, if you look to the left, these green numbers are the kW per ton. So the smaller the number for kW per ton, the more efficient the equipment is or the central plant. And the COP, the larger the number is, the more efficient the equipment or the central plant is. That's why these two go in hand in hand. This large inefficient kW per ton is equivalent to this inefficient COP. So as the KW per ton gets smaller, as the green gets smaller here, the number gets smaller, the COP gets larger. So you want to be towards the bottom of the chart, that's more efficient. Here it is on a different type of chart, same answer though. You want to be KW per ton, you want to be a small number because that means it takes less power, less KW, less power in to produce a ton. So you want to be small. Over here to COP. 
You want to be a large number. That means more efficient equipment. And if we were to look at a central plant, basically this, you would rate your central plant. You would add up your chillers, your cooling tower fans, your chilled water and condenser water pumps. And basically that's all the major power consuming equipment in your central plant. And so when you do those calculations that we just did for kW per ton and COP and you add those together before you do the calculation, you want to see where your central plant falls. And you, if you're falling over here in the red, then you knew, know there's some efficiency improvements that you can make to the central plant. So do your calculation with all four of those together like we did for the individual one. You would just add all the BTUs together, you would add all the KWs together, and then you convert that all into BTUs per hour, and then do the calculation. It's a simple calculation. You can go back to the beginning and look at that calculation and do it over again. Very simple. So I hope you liked it. Click to subscribe for our next video, which will be coming out soon.